morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if this is the first video that you are watching. Hi, my name is Lauren, and I am a kindergarten teacher here in Illinois. Welcome. Today's video is going to be a day in my life. We are going to the classroom to do some setting up and some projects, um, but we have some other things to do as well. So all of my classroom projects, I think from here on out until the year starts, are going to be like interwoven into daily or weekly vlogs. So there is that. Um, today is, oh my gosh, I don't even know what today is. Thursday. Today is Thursday. And um, I am going with my husband to go sign our lease for our townhome. So we moved from Massachusetts to Illinois um, in like the end of June, but we knew we wanted to live in this townhome and it, it's not available until August 4th. So we have been living in a sublease, like a college kind of apartment complex. Um, so we don't have our stuff, our stuff's still in the pod. If you guys have been watching, you know this. Anyways, today we are going to the leasing office to go sign our lease for um, the townhome, which we will be able to move into next week. I'm so excited um, because our move-in day, my husband is a collegiate basketball coach and his team is going on like a foreign tour, which you can do every four years, if I understand correctly. And that gives you like 10 additional practices somehow. I don't know, but anyways, he's gonna be in Canada. So he's gonna be out of the country when we move in. Um, so we need like to go sign a lease and everything ahead of time so that like all the legal stuff is done. That way on move-in day, me and Teddy, just the two of us can go get the keys and like move in. But anyway, so that's the plan. I'm gonna take Teddy into daycare. That's where we are now. Um, I just filled up, I got gas and like, mm, better it's better than it has been but anyways got some gas gonna take teddy to daycare and then i'm going to i think get starbucks on my way to that leasing office because we we're supposed to be there at 8 30 and it is 803 so i do have time for coffee and then um we'll sign the lease and then go from here but teddy do you want to say bye you'll see him later oh he's so cute okay all right you ready go inside bub here we go could I please have a venti brown sugar shaken espresso with a little bit of extra oat milk? You guys already know what time it is. I got my coffee, so I have to show you my cup of the day. This one is, I think, my favorite one, dare I say. I love this one. This one is called Blue Bunny. It is from China, and it has a little bunny, like, straw topper that, like, has a thing to close your straw. So that's so cute. I really just love the color of this one. I tried to, like, match them to my outfit, and I have blue in my shirt. Can you tell? Can you tell? This shirt is from Target. I will put it down below. It's like recently purchased and I love it. So anyways, um, now it is time to pour the coffee into here, which I do every morning and it's always stressful, but we're gonna do it and it's gonna be fine. And we're not gonna spill, mm, hopefully. Um, also, I saw a thing that the pumpkin cream cold brew is coming back and I love the pumpkin cream cold brew and they're bringing it back in August. So I love that for us. Oh, this lady just pulled up next to me. Hi friend. did it success aha okay i had the lid on oh there she goes all right off to sign a lease also i forgot to mention that um we are moving into our townhome next week yes but we have to move out of our current place this weekend so we're going to be without a like address for four days um or four nights so teddy and i are going to be staying in a hotel jacob is going to be in canada love that for us so anyways that's fun mm. oh, delicious. all right here we go grown-up time gonna go sign a lease excited also we decided to live in this like little section of townhomes before I had ever even like seen one so we were living in Massachusetts and Jake literally came to DeKalb for a day like didn't even spend the night he left to go to Boston Airport at like I want to say it was like 2 a.m. and he was back by like 3 a.m. the following like morning but like he was just here a day anyways they had a tour available I called this office and our um like leasing agent and scheduled him to do a tour the day that he was here and he was like yep we want it we're moving in so anyways after we just signed all of our lease luckily we got to go see a unit it's not ours 
Um, ours has like different flooring and ours has vaulted ceilings. I'm so excited, you guys. We also have a garage and we have um, la laundry. I can't even talk because I'm so excited. We didn't have a washer and dryer in unit in our previous place. We did not have a garage. It's very much more like a home. Like it's more like a family feel. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So anyways, <sighs> sign a lease, got to see one. And I don't know if I've mentioned this, but we are using the second bedroom in this place as an office, as my office. And I'm so excited. I cannot wait to turn it into just such a fun, happy, bright workspace at home. I cannot wait. But anyways, I'm going to get on the road now and head to school. I'm going to be on cloud nine all day long. Also, she said that everyone here decorates for Christmas. And I was like, girl, say less. Have you watched the Grinch? Do you know Martha May who? I will fill that role here. Like if someone puts up two candy canes, I'm going to put up seven because I love Christmas. Oh, I cannot, I cannot. You guys, we're going to get trick-or-treaters. We're on a cul-de-sac. A cul-de-sac. I'm so excited. I cannot believe it. I'm so happy. Okay, so there's that part of the day. Check. Anyways, we are going to get on the road now and head to school. I have a lot of things with me that need to be hung up. I have some projects in mind for today. So we're going to go do that. And I will talk to you guys when I get there. Oh, best morning ever. We made it. We are here at school. And my first order of business was to get all of the like laminated things out of my backpack that I have. Some of them I have sprayed with like the matte clear spray paint to make them like readable, legible from anywhere in the room. Some of them I have not. And I brought it with me, but I don't know if I feel comfortable doing that like inside um but anyways some of them have already been cut i cut them before i sprayed them and others of them i need to cut them now so my first thing i'm going to do is just sit down and cut all of the number posters i want to trim them down a little bit and my sound wall cards i want to try to get the sound wall up today just got some cutting to do so we're gonna bring our coffee over to the little kidney table take a seat and get to cutting everything is cut and some of it like I said was already cut before but I wanted to show you I laid out so much stuff across the top of this cabinet and also put some things down here on the floor on the stage um right there on that thing are my schedule cards I have voice levels I have all kinds of stuff so I want to show you everything and then I want to show you something else that I also cut and talk about that for a minute but let me show you everything that we made <laughs> This long bulletin board over on this side is going to be my sound wall and I say sound wall with quotes because I don't know if I'm going to include like the mouth formations to make it a full-blown sound wall but anyways this is what we got. We got the title sound wall have not sprayed that yet with anti-glare but I have sprayed all of the cards. These are all the consonants. I have short vowel cards made. I want to make long vowel cards and then digraphs but that is what I have for now. I just laid them out to try to get like my general arrangement. And I think I am going to separate them that way. So I'll have like short vowels, long vowels, um, consonant digraphs. And then over here, I'll do like all the consonants and I'll put sound wall like across the top, but there's that. I have some locks, but not enough. I only have one of each color. So I need to go through and count like how many locks of each color I need to cover everything because I'm not going to have them like visible until we learn the sound. And then I'll take the lock off and we can unlock it. But there's that. I made some shape posters in the same color. Um, first of all, I did like the shapes from Eureka, which is the curriculum that we're using, which are the four across the top and the hexagon. And then I just added some other ones to complete the set. So there's that. I have my title for the calendar. I also haven't sprayed yet, but I think I wanna like string it up here with the striped ribbon that I have. And that is everything over there. And then I have schedule cards that I made. They are super cute. They're all like in the same colors and I already sprayed these so they are anti-glare. These are business card like magnets that are peel and stick. So I'm gonna put those on the back so that I can put the schedule like down this section. These are my hand signals. These are on TPT. These were like my prototype. So on the ones that are on TPT, the check is white, like the other clip art, it's not green. But there are also like three other, I think, signals and every one is available in every color. So if you have a tropical color scheme, I'll link these down below. I also made number posters. These have 
the number, the number word, 10 frames, and Eureka style counting, which is like directional counting. So it starts on the pinky and then travels this way. And then once you get higher than 10, I just like buddied up the hand. So it's like two friends counting together. But anyways, I have those. I have my alphabet, which is listed in like, I think four different colorways on TPT. Um, again, this was like my prototype version. And the only thing that's different is that I made the lines go all the way to the edges of the posters for every letter. You see how like N doesn't but M does, they go all the way across for all the letters in the listing, but for mine, they don't, but that's okay. I just changed it like when I was posting it. And then I have voice levels, but I did like time, I did quiet time, work time, share time, play time. And I'm gonna get like the little tap lights to go in the white space so that way I can like hit the light for whatever time it is. But yeah, that is all of the things almost everything. I have a couple of more resources over here at my small group table because I wanted to share with you guys the sponsor of today's video. Thank you, Kasi Magnetic Tiles, for sponsoring today's video. Kasi is a company making magnetic tiles, but not just for building. They are fun to build with. I've played with them a little bit, but these are teaching tools. And as a matter of fact, Kasi is actually launching a Let's Learn booklet, and that will be free to download. There are also so many more ideas that others have shared about how to use these in your teaching and I'll link those in the description down below. If you follow that link, there's also a 20% off coupon code if you are interested in purchasing some magnetic tiles for your own classroom. But I wanted to show you guys how I plan to use them and the reason they are here at my small group table. So first things first, I did print and cut these awesome number cards from Cassie's website. Again, these are free to download, but it shows you how you can make each number using the magnetic tiles and i love that they are in color they are clear and easy to follow so i'm going to put these number cards either at a math center or in the bin over in my free play area so that students have some ideas of what they could build and how they could build numbers as we start learning about number id but also i am hoping to use gotta tilt you down so you can see I'm hoping to use my square magnetic tiles as Elkonin boxes. Now, the great thing about these is that they are a smooth plastic, so they do function as like a dry erase surface. You can write right on top and then I'll show you, but you get the gist. <laughs> you can erase it immediately after and it's no big deal. So I'm hoping to use these when we start practicing phoneme segmentation. I think this will be a really fun way to separate and also blend phonemes. I have this size. I also have these huge squares that come in the 120 piece set. And I was thinking you could even use these like on your whiteboard if you wanted to do a similar activity in whole group and you wanted it to be a little bit more visible for all the students on the carpet. These would stick directly to your whiteboard because they have magnets all over them. So I'm loving these jumbo Elkonin boxes, but like I said, there will be a link in the description where you can find tons of ideas from other teachers who are also using these in their classroom. Again, you can get 20% off. And if you follow me on Instagram, I am gonna be posting a giveaway. Kasi has so graciously decided to give away two sets of magnetic tiles to you guys. So follow me over on Instagram, look there for all of the rules and everything for the giveaway. You might be able to win a set of magnetic tiles for your classroom this year. So there is that. I'm going to keep these in my small group cart. Do, 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 do. And, I'm going to go put these in the free play center over by my cube organizer. And then we have some more work to do. Alrighty, got all the tiles put away. Some of them at my small group table, like I mentioned. And then some of the other ones went into the free play buckets over here in that cube organizer. So they're there with the number cards, as well as like a little idea booklet that comes with the tiles of like a spaceship and how you could make that. Anyways, it's all over there. So now I was going to hang up all of those things that I showed you today but I have them all laid out. I talked to one of my coworkers, um, she's on the first grade team, and talked about how I might be getting a Mimeo board and not the smart board. And that means that this like short throw projector would be leaving because then I will just need the big ceiling guy. If that's the case, then I probably need to wait to hang like my alphabet and my numbers because I was gonna put both of those like across the top of the whiteboard up here, across the front of the room so that they were visible, but if I were to do it now, I would probably like skip the projector, if that makes sense, like leave a gap and do half and half on either side. 
but if they're going to be taking the projector down, they're gonna need like a lot of access to this area of the wall and it's gonna be bad if my stuff is hanging. So sadly, I don't think I'm going to be able to do the numbers and the alphabet today, which I really wanted to do them, but that's okay. The sound wall is gonna be a big project, so that can happen. Right now, what I think I'm gonna start with is the things that are going on to the whiteboard that I just need to put those little like business card sheet magnets on the back of, and then I can stick them up. So I'm going to start with the schedule down that side, and then probably my voice level posters like somewhere in this area. schedule cards up and look how stinking adorable that title is on the calendar board like are you kidding me right now and I've decided that I'm gonna put our hand signals like down the side of the calendar right there because there's four of them so I'm gonna do like water bathroom question and agree I'm gonna put those four there and then across the bottom under the smart board I am going to do the shape posters because I think those will fill the space a lot better and the signals make a lot more sense over there but y'all I'm just I am in love. I This little corner of the classroom, you're kidding me. So adorable, so functional. I love that all the colors match. It makes it more cohesive. I think when you're like very intentional about the colors matching, even if they are bright, I think it's less overwhelming because everything matches. Does that make sense? But I love it. So there's that. I did hang these up right here. Um, I don't know that I'm going to be able to put like very much on this section of whiteboard because the easel's in front of it. I haven't really thought of a solution for that. Um, someone recommended I could maybe put the easel behind my small group table, but I just don't think that's very compatible with like my style of teaching. If I had two easels, like, yes, I would love to have one in both places, but if I'm only going to have one. I like, I need it for a whole group because I do anchor charts and everything. And like, I, I just, I feel like I need it. Maybe I won't when I get really used to the interactive board, but for right now, I think it's staying there, which means I don't think I could put very much on these whiteboards um, like behind, but that's okay. I have like the little posters. I have my little shelf. I think I'm going to scoot over and I need like little tap lights on there for our voice levels, but I'm going to go ahead and hang up my hand signals over on like the side of the calendar and the number posters across the bottom. <laughs> I'm sorry y'all couldn't see it. I didn't realize the phone was like sliding as I did the time lapse, but I love it. I think the shape posters fill that space really well and then they'll be visible as well when we're on the carpet. So there's that. I might print like bigger versions and put those somewhere else that's like somewhere spaced out in the classroom, like maybe over here and that way they're big and somewhere else that's visible. But for right now, I like those there. I just made those. Um, right now, all that's posted on my TPT is the alphabet. Um, and the hand signals and the number posters. But like I said, my alphabet, my number posters are down there. If y'all are interested, I could post like the shape posters and the voice levels and the, the schedule cards would be a little tricky, but I can try. But anyways, I made everything because I wanted it all to be like the tropical colors. And I was having a hard time finding anything that like accompanied or matched this particular theme from schoolgirl style. So anyways, there is all of that. Now it is one o'clock and my phone is on 4%. And I forgot my charger. I am so sorry, you guys. I need to buy a charger, but I'm going to. I think what we're going to do is take a pause because I'm going to head over to the Target that is like here by school for a couple of things. I wanted to hang my bucket fillers today, which is going to be my new classroom management system. So I want to do that, but I also wanted to go ahead and get like the pom poms for me to like give out to them and make sure that these buckets are going to be big enough to like fit at least 10 pom poms. So, anyways, I'm going to make a run over to Target, get a phone charger, <laughs> get some other stuff that I've been needing. I'll take y'all with me also get lunch and charge my phone while I am out and then we'll come back and I think when I get back I'm going to tackle the sound wall because I'm so excited also the title for the sound wall is like the same little like pennant as the calendar so 
I can't wait. But anyways, we'll do that when we get back. For right now, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my backpack and my badge and everything so that I'll be able to get back in and then we'll hit the road and go get some lunch. I think there's like a Chick-fil-A over there, which I haven't had Chick-fil-A in a long time. So you know what? We'll go to Chick-fil-A. Here we go. <laughs> y'all i have my tea have sweet have fun sweet you guys already know that but i just went into target and i was so proud of myself because i only got what i needed i got um a phone charger that has a brick i got these and i grabbed two like off the same rack and then when i got up there to self-checkout and i was ringing them up the second set was different and they only had one of them so i'm gonna need two more and i'll go to the target over by where we're living but i got my tap lights and I got one more of these little containers for like the center cube in like the little bench by the calendar, the one that's empty, cause this matches like my other ones where the free play stuff is and they're like inexpensive. So it's like, I only got what I needed. Yay me. And then I got to my car, not even, I got halfway to my car in the parking lot and realized that I forgot to get pom poms, which is kind of like half what I wanted to go for is little pom poms for the bucket filler, little buckets that I'm gonna hang when I get back to my room. So it's like, oh, no big deal, I'm here, I'm flexible. I'll go back inside. Well, here's the thing. When I went back inside to get the pom-poms, I got the pom-poms, three, th three little things of them. But they had this cutie shirt. Look at it. She's like royal blue, like gator blue. Go gators. And like, oh, that is so cute. Didn't try it on, but I was like, mm -hmm, you're coming home with me. So I did really well on the first time only getting what I need. And then I had to go back in and then all bets were off. But at least I only got one thing that was like not on the list. So anyways, there's that. We're gonna head back to school now. It is 2.10. When I get back, I'm going to do the sound wall and bucket fillers and we'll see what else. And then we're gonna head home. Okay, okay, let's get on the road. like we never left. So now it is time for the sound wall. And like I mentioned, I made the little letters like this one that say sound wall, but I haven't um, hole punched them yet so that I can put them on string or ribbon like this one's on ribbon. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do since I laid everything out and it's spaced out really nicely under the board, I'm gonna go ahead and do like the little painter's tape hack where you do like a line of painter's tape I'll do it over each row and then tape it up and then I'll staple them. That way they're all up there and they're all super nice and neat. And then I will cover all of them with locks eventually, but I have to make more locks when I get home today. By locks, I just mean these little guys that I'm just gonna put on top of them, probably with like a Velcro dot so I can remove them and put them back year after year. But anyways, um, let's go ahead and get these cards up on the board and I'm gonna hope to leave enough space at the top that I can do my little sound wall thing, kind of like how I did calendar. There are no fans on this board, but it's because I ran out of the black and white ones like that. And I really want to do a black one, like a big black and white polka dot one with another color. So I might have to order another set of black ones. The only thing is that when you get those, two of them are zebra print and I'm not using zebra print, but anyways, enough chit chat. Let's get to work. why the phone keeps going like this and <laughs> falling I apologize but I think it is done for now it looks very colorful but I'm hoping that it's also going to work as far as like using it to remember our sound so right now I have it separated I have my short vowels over here and these are all of the consonants I wish I would have like put both on the board before I stapled all the consonants down because the vowels are kind of like smushy over here in this space and then the consonants have like some extra room down there. I'm wondering if I should get like a black piece of washi tape to like, you know what I'm saying? Like separate the different sections. I think I am going to make little like headers, like one that says vowels, one that says digraphs, and then one down here in this corner that says like, I'm sorry, vowels, <laughs> consonants, and then one down here that says digraphs. My brain is just all over right now, but I like how it looks. I have some of the locks. I only have like one set of the colors. Um, so I need to print like, what is that? 
18 more locks tonight and then laminate them and spray them. But then I'm going to use them year to year. The only reason I haven't put them up yet is because I'm not totally sure how I want to do that in order to like make this board functional for more than one school year. Um, because what I was thinking is I have these little like clear Velcro things from Hobby Lobby and I thought maybe I would put one of those at the top of each just one and put it like on top like that but then I was worried if I like pull is it gonna just mess up the paper and the board just like pulling all the time I don't know I could pull gentle let me know down below what y'all think I should do to attach the locks but anyways the gist is that when we start school they will all be locked like this and we won't have any sounds and then as we learn them I'm gonna make a huge deal about unlocking of letter unlocking of sound it's gonna be really fun also i ordered um this is like really silly but i ordered this like really obnoxious like prop key on amazon that's like huge and i was thinking i might stick googly eyes on it and then like any day that we're gonna unlock a letter i might like he needs a name maybe he'll be like kevin the key and he helps us unlock letters. I don't know, but I'm really excited about it. So hopefully that will come soon um, before we move. But anyways, I have this like big obnoxious key. So that's gonna be really funny. Um, I'll put it in my Amazon storefront, even though other people are gonna see it and be like, what? Um, anyways, there is that and I love it. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I put the two little tap lights up there. But like I said, I need two more for the other two, but I like how this little area looks. <laughs> the alphabet and the numbers. Um, anyways, let's see how many of these pom-poms fit in these little buckets. Okay, I ordered these. Oh, my hair is looking scraggly. Good thing my brush is right here. Boop. Okay. <laughs> I ordered these little buckets on Amazon, and I'll link them, but they are really little. They're small, y'all. Um, but they could work if we count our bucket fillers like once a week but I wanted to do them once every other week because that is what Kayla from Move Mountains and Kindergarten said that she did I was like reading her blog post about how she uses this management system with her kindergartners because I think I talked about this in my stories on Instagram but I don't know if I talked about it in the vlog I forget like what I've talked about where y'all so if I've already said this just ignore me but anyways um last year my first three years in first grade Y'all know if you've watched my channel, I used compliments and they were like little rhinestones and I did it in a pocket chart. Would I recommend it? No. Um, here's why. <laughs> the idea was good. It's essentially a token economy. It worked a lot better when our school had PBIS because then what I did was I like would change four compliments for a paw dollar and then they could spend that at the school store. And so I didn't have to buy like physical rewards. So when my first year, when I was like buying the rewards and I had like my compliment store, I would not recommend anything where you have to buy like little rewards awards no um unless they are little but I mean like I had like a whole school store in my classroom that like I was funding so didn't like that also counting them was like my job because they were so hard to get out of that pocket chart do not do it do not do anything in a pocket chart because then they have to like dig their little hands in to try to get all their stuff out and then they get mixed up like don't so anyways I'm hoping the bucket fillers will be the almost exact same but I'm gonna put command hooks on the end of this metal shelf right there. Bloop. I'm gonna do eight rows with like three across. Um, and I'm going to number their buckets. I think I'm gonna do like a little cricket project where I put like a number on each of the bucket, but then it will work the same way. But then when it's time to count, they can take their little bucket to their seat and we will have um, bucket filler 10 frames. That way they can like put them out and count how many they have. And then the counting is on them. It's not my job. So it's way less more like work for me. Um, also it's cute because there's a read aloud that goes with it. So I'm really excited to read that in the first week of school and like set the tone. And then third of all, I'm hoping to do like experiential rewards. I did post about some on my Instagram story because I put a question box to ask y'all like what rewards you do that aren't tangible. So um, people said like stinky feet, which is where they can take their shoes off. I'm not doing that one because we have a bathroom in the classroom and I don't want any of them to go in there without shoes on. And also sometimes they have a really hard time putting their shoes back on. So I don't want to have to put on 22 pairs of shoes when stinky feet day's over. So no, um, or when we have to like go to music, but anyways, I think I am going to do other ones like lunch bunch and they'll all either be five or 10. There'll be like a ranking where there's like five bucket fillers. You can choose from any of these things. And then for 10 bucket fillers, you can choose from any of these things. And they're only going to, I think, get to pick one each time. So there's my plan. But anyways, I want to see how many fit in here. So let's see if 10 fit in there comfortably. One, two, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yes. So this is 17. They are small. Yes. But they hold them well. And this is going to work. And it's going to be perfect. And I'm really excited. Okay. So what I do need to do is get a bucket for my... Oh, I just had the best idea. 
I have this little gumball machine that I put cap erasers in, but the cap erasers don't actually come out when you turn it. I wonder if I put these in there, if you, I could like dispense a bucket filler. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay, this thing. It's really cute, but that's all it is. It doesn't work. Like you can't spin this and get a cap eraser out of here. So if this works, this is gonna be my favorite part of my classroom. Okay, mm, before I pour all of them in there, let's see. Oh, you're kidding. This is the best day of my life. Wow. New favorite part of my classroom. Brain blast. Love that for us. Also, these pom-poms are like the cutest little colors I have ever seen in my whole life together. I love this little color palette that they've got going. These are the brand um, Mondo Llama, I think is how you say it, from Target. Also, this is from Target. So if you guys are going to... Ow, my knees on this tile floor. Um, if you guys are going to try to recreate this, Target. I think what I'm going to do is have them like hold them in their hand. And then when they get up from the carpet, they can go put it in their bucket. <gasps> you guys. This is the cutest thing I have ever seen. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this on the corner of my desk because then I'll be able to get to it. And I think what I'll do in the morning is just spin it so that there's like a few um, in the little chute. That way when I need one, I have some to grab from. And then like as those deplete, oh my gosh, it's a pattern. What are the odds? Um, as those deplete, I will like spin it more throughout the day just to like pass them out. But this is so cute and perfect, oh, I love it. Okay, putting it on the corner of my desk now. Wow, and I guess I have to find a place to put all of these cap erasers. But actually, I have a place. I have a little bucket that says erasers, BRB. Okay, wow best part of my whole day. I don't know what this is. I just knelt on it on the floor and it hurt so bad. I have no clue where it came off of, but I'm going to keep it just in case I need it for something. But anyways, okay, let's hang up all of the little buckets on the shelf. I'm going to use a ruler for this part so that they're all straight because I have who I am as a person. Here we go. Y'all, this shelf is like exactly 12 inches across. Look, I have my ruler. So it was so easy to find the center and then to make all of these like perfectly placed. They are literally perfectly arranged. My little type A heart is so pleased, but there are 24 of them. I'm only supposed to have 22 students and I believe our cap is 25. If I ended up with another student, I would probably just put a bucket like up here or like stick one in the middle or over here. But I was thinking I would get my Cricut and do like some little thing that said like bucket fillers and just stick it on the shelf with removable vinyl and then I can take it off. But I'm hoping I'll use these this year, next year. And even if the buckets get like a little messed up, they're pretty inexpensive on Amazon. Um, I added them to my kindergarten setup list on my Amazon storefront if you're interested in like trying to recreate this. I'll see if I can also find a little gumball machine like this one. If y'all wanna try to recreate this little bucket filler dispenser. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so there is that. And honestly, I don't know like what else I really have to get done today. Wait, I lied. I forgot two things. The first of all being that I got these cute colored crates at Walmart and they are like a blush pink and a teal and honestly did I need more crates mm, no come here I will show you my crate collection um I have white lots of white I think I have four white yes so I already have white and teal in here and I love those colors but if you guys know anything about these little Sterilite crates they do different colors every year and then they like never do those colors again so Maniacs in the middle has neons like neon rainbow I wish more than anything that I had those hot pink crates, but I don't, and they'll probably never make them again. So this is what I'm working with, but we were at Walmart and I saw that they had those blush and teal, the squeak. So I got two of each and I didn't know what I was gonna do with them, but they fit in here. And because these shelves are pretty deep, I do think I am gonna store things in crates because if not, like it's hard to store things from back to front, but still be able to access the things that are in the back without putting things in front of them. Does that make sense? But if there's a crate there, just take the whole thing down and then you can go through it. So anyways, I now am like, mm, I need one more in each color. So that's gonna be fun because the teal ones were like, up up high and there were only two of them in the whole store where we're from so i'm gonna have to go to like a different walmart to get another teal one but the blush ones there was a lot of blush and there was also this like olive green color so if you have olive green in your room there's that but i forgot that those were in my car so i went to go get those put them in there and then our district safety person um he's a very nice gentleman he came to get my like go bag all set up and make sure everything that i needed was in there and then he told me where it should be hanging so that's all good to go now and i know that it's been like sorted through and I know about everything that's in there. So that was nice. But the one more thing that I forgot that I was going to do today because I put them on the floor and then like 
just got out of my mind was these letters. I made the read letters using the letters from kindergarten, but I just printed out read um, so that I could hang it up here on this little thing, just kind of like spread out R-E-A-D. So I'm gonna do that really quickly and then I'm gonna go. The letters are up and it is time to pack my things now because I actually have done everything that I intended to do today. So now that I know that for sure, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my tea, my water and my backpack and everything else that I need. And then I'm just gonna do like a quick peek around. I normally do this before I leave, especially before the school year starts and just think of anything I need to add or cross off of my like long list of things to do. But honestly, most of the stuff that I have left to do is, well, the sound wall, like finishing the little sound cards and the locks and stuff, but like labels. Um, I need to do labels for my free play buckets. Um, I'm gonna have an interesting time doing those because I haven't been able to find clip art of like the stem materials, like brain flakes. So I might make some TBH with my iPad, but anyways, um, labels and the sound wall and like headings and stuff, um, but nothing too crazy. So let me go ahead and get packed and we will hit the road. We have Tedders! Teddy, say hi! Hi. He's so cute. Also, um, he comes out of there like a bucking bronco. Like, he storms his way because there's like a little office, like reception area. He always just charges down that little hallway. I know, I'm airing out your business. He runs down there and tries to like Kool-Aid man himself through the gate into the reception like he doesn't have to wait for the lady to open the gate. You do. Um, anyways, also, when I got here, I like reached out on the floorboard for his leash and I totally forgot I got that cute new shirt at Target. Now I'm excited all over again because I can't wait to get home and try it on. But anyways, Teddy, where am I supposed to put my arm, buddy? You just want to snuggle? Okay, I'll snuggle you. in like my little folding table, folding chair situation office at the um, college apartment. So anyways, we are home. I have been replying to some emails and also comments. I posted on Instagram a picture of like my little calendar corner and um, y'all have been so nice over there. Also like have some questions about where things are from. So I've just been like responding to comments, responding to emails. It is 6.20. I'm also eating this little um, Cliff Kid Bar, actually. I like the kid ones better. It's like a chocolate chip Z bar and making sure I drink lots of water because I had coffee and tea today, but not very much water yet. So really trying to get some water in there. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start printing the locks. Like I mentioned, I don't know actually if I like clarified this, but I made that sound wall. So I have the locks, it's no big deal. Um, so I'm just going to print all the locks that I will need. I just put like fresh cardstock in here. I'll link my printer down below. I've gotten some questions about that lately. But while I'm running the copies of the locks, I'm just gonna go back and check my emails about like what people wanted um, for like as far as like changes to TBT products because I kind of forgot, honestly. I think I wrote it down actually in my notes. So I'll look at that and then I can get to work. <music> y'all it is much later it is 8 30 now um jake got home made dinner we're in the stage where we're just trying to eat everything that's here because we're gonna have to throw it out when we move out this weekend so we had some spaghetti it was delicious but anyways i did finish printing my um sound wall cards but not the digraphs i just did the long vowels because these were already on my alphabet that i made so i already knew what keywords and clip art i wanted to use so it's pretty quick just to like put these together um, and I also printed a bunch of locks. So I should have plenty of locks for all the sounds. I was going to do the spray painting tonight. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to end the vlog here because I am exhausted. Anyways, I will link this down in the description box below. Um, but other than that, thank you for coming along with me today. Um, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything, please leave them down below. And I will do my best to get back to all of you guys. I know we're gonna be a little bit busy in this coming season with like, moving into our new home and then me starting my new staff orientation for the district. I have like a full week of those PDs before we even report back. And then obviously school is starting. So I think it's actually like in 20 days 
which is crazy. But anyways, um, everything, all of that to say, it's going to be a busy season, but I'm going to try my best to share everything with you guys. So I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye friends.